Hello friends and welcome to edupediaworld.com Your destination to online education Friends, as far in the preparation of hydrogen we discussed some metals like potassium, sodium and calcium which reacts with cold water to liberate hydrogen We also discussed metals like magnesium and aluminium which react with steam to liberate hydrogen gas though these metals do not react with cold water and does not give any reaction with cold water so they react best with steam to generate or liberate hydrogen gas so today in this video we shall discuss how zinc metal react with steam to liberate hydrogen gas so friends let's start with the video and discuss and learn the reaction of zinc metal with steam for the generation or preparation or liberation of hydrogen gas but before starting with the reaction part let's discuss some basics of this metal that is this element is a zinc under the roof of transition metal with the symbol zn an atomic number 30 you can locate this metal in the modern periodic table in group 12 and period 4 with the atomic number 30 you can have the configuration of this metal with 2 8 18 and 2 which gives out the valence electron as 2 and the valency b2 friends it have five stable isotopes so this is some very basic information about this metal let's discuss some more facts and figures about zinc metal well friends zinc is the 24th abundant element in the earth crust well with the zinc zn and atomic number 30 the non scientific name of zinc is also called as spelter well, pure zinc is very shiny, bluish white colored metal, while commercially grade of metal usually have a dull finish to it, with the melting point of 787.1 in Fahrenheit or you can say 419.5 in centigrade, and the boiling point will be. 1664.6 in Fahrenheit or 907 in centigrade. It is mainly used for the quality of its resistance to corrosion. This is an important quality of zinc as it is having the ability of resist of the corrosion and therefore we protect other metals. Half of all the zinc produced metal today is used for galvanization of steel to prevent against corrosion and it is used to protect buildings, cars, nails, wires, pipes and more products. Zinc compounds are commercially used in the products including batteries, paints, plastics, rubber products, pharmaceuticals, floor covering, inks, cosmetics soaps, textiles, as zinc is also a natural insect repellent and also the sunscreen which helps us for production of our skin. Apart from this property, zinc also helps or is the essential nutritional mineral for our human body and animals as well. Well, after iron, it is the second most common trace metal found naturally in our body. It also helps our immune system to fight off the invading bacteria, virus, while our cells require zinc to help build DNA. Well, our body needs zinc to grow, develop properly, making it very important for children and during pregnancy. A very important point is that food that are great source of zinc including red meats like beef lambs livers and seafood such as oysters and lobsters which is actually a rich source of zinc for the vegetarians whole grain seeds beans nuts and almonds are all good source of zinc if grown in zinc rich soil 
one more fact we should know that the US penny coin contains 97.5 of zinc in it and there have been cases of zinc toxicity after humans and dogs ingested the coins apart from the usage and importance if we look after the production china produce nearly a third of the global of zinc output and other notable zinc mining countries includes australia and peru well friends after iron aluminum and copper zinc is the fourth most common metal we use today and around 70% of world's zinc comes from mining and 30% comes from recycling the metal because zinc is 100% recyclable metal well friends this is the facts and figures of zinc before starting the main reaction have you ever thought why zinc do not react with cold water this is because when we react with say metal with cold water what happens as after several minutes the bubbles of hydrogen slowly forms on its surface and the reaction soon stops why because it form a protective layer of insoluble zinc hydroxide which forms a barrier on the zinc surface and prevents further reaction and the reaction gets stopped very soon so this is the basic reason why zinc do not react with cold water because it forms or generates an insoluble zinc hydroxide the coating protective layer of zinc hydroxide which actually forms a barrier of zinc surface to produce gas which we can further collect with the special apparatus and this is the reaction of zinc reacting with cold water produces zinc hydroxide and few of some of hydrogen gas is liberated though it also liberate hydrogen gas but yes the reaction does not move for a longer period it stops as it is prevented by this layer we call as insoluble zinc hydroxide now let's move on the preparation of hydrogen of metal with respect to steam when metal react with steam gives out metal oxide and hydrogen gas is liberated in case of zinc metal when zinc metal react with steam it forms zinc oxide and hydrogen gas is liberated in this reaction which we collect this gas with the appropriate apparatus that is a chemical reaction where zinc in the solid form reacts with steam generates metal oxide which is zinc oxide and hydrogen gas is generated with this special kind of apparatus let's discuss this is the apparatus we use where we use a small ball of mineral wool which is pushed into the bottom of the test tube and soaked in a tap water several pieces of zinc metal are pushed half down the same test tube you can see here where i have denoted metal sample which is actually in this case it is a zinc metal which we have put it into the half of this test tube and this was clamped horizontally this test tube is fixed horizontally with the help of a stand then a bunsen burner is used to heat the metal of section of the tube until the zinc was quite hot and then the bunsen was used to heat the mineral wool to produce steam as the steam passed over the hot metal the zinc began to turn white and a colorless gas escaped from the tube and was collected over water in an inverted test tube you can see here the hydrogen gas is here collected in the just separate apparatus where a beaker having a water and there is a inverted test tube containing some of water and the the bubbles you can see here is the hydrogen gas which is collected here so this is the 
whole reaction we go through when we react metal with steam that is in this kind of reaction we are taking the metal sample as a zinc metal reacting with steam giving out zinc oxide and hydrogen well friends this reaction is also not suitable to liberate hydrogen gas because it has drawbacks like it is still very less reactive and reacts only when heated and steam is passed over it and the reaction stops after some time as we know that the oxide of these metals stick to the surface of their respective metals and thus do not allow steam to come in contact with the metal so these are some drawbacks and tells us why we don't use zinc metal to react with steam to liberate hydrogen gas this is actually we do not prefer this reaction that is we do not prefer zinc to react with steam for generation or liberation or manufacturing of hydrogen gas so i end up my session over here in the next video we shall learn and discuss how iron metal will react with steam for the generation or manufacturing or liberation of hydrogen gas thank you for watching edupedia world videos